EJ from Michelson here. We are on a Michelson 43, beautiful brand new listing. This is a 2022 Gen 2, uh, pretty unique boat. It's a forward galley. We didn't build too many late models with the forward galley, so this is kind of a different uh, 43. This boat is like new, literally. The plastic is still on the cushions. The boat has less than 20 hours on it. We're gonna do our kind of long form walkthrough video and show you guys this beautiful boat. Let's go down to the forward part of the boat, show you the staterooms in the head. Port side here, we have our guest stateroom. This is a twin down below and a single upper berth. Lots of storage in here. We got drawers below the bed, hanging locker here. Uh, and then to the starboard side, we have our beautiful head. This is all high gloss cherry wood. We've got our big stall shower. Nice pocket doors on both the head and the guest stateroom, which is nice because you don't have the hinge door encroaching in there when they're open. It's coming into the master stateroom here. Uh, really nice master. We've got uh, a nice little vanity that we did for them on the starboard side, kind of forward. Ladies have a nice little place to put their makeup on. Um, nice little locker here. We've got we've still got his and hers hanging lockers. We had to shrink this one a little bit to fit the vanity, but still plenty of room room in there. Um, and yeah, just a, a great great comfortable stateroom up here. We've got port lights that open to let in a lot of natural light and air. Uh, obviously our overhead hatch with our ocean air shade roller. So we got a screen for the bees and Catalina and a blackout shade for darkness and privacy. Um, so yeah, great stateroom. All right, I'm gonna take you down real quick in the under storage utility room. This is nice down here, it's all carpeted. Uh, plenty of space. Owner's got spear guns. We've got uh, batteries, actually cool batteries on this. He put, uh, he put six volts uh, batteries in series and um, a little lighter, easier to swap out and he actually gets uh, more amp hours, uh, which is nice. Got our inverter, charger, uh, water maker, or water purification system, some of the hydraulics for our davit, and just a whole bunch of storage. So great area to have on the boat. And then, what is this? All right, let's go check out the salon and the galley. So again, uh, forward galley layout. Uh, pretty unique on, on the late model 43s. Got a, still a really nice horseshoe shaped dinette that makes into a bed. You can fit a bunch of people here for dinner. Uh, and then the galley uh, is forward here. And it's actually a really cool layout. Um, it feels, boat still feels very open and it's all on the same level. So I'm not, I'm not down in a hole. I'm on the same level as everybody else in the salon. Um, so this is, yeah, really, really cool layout. And then on the starboard side, we've got these really nice barrel chairs with an ottoman. This has storage and then outboard, we've got nice cabinets with even more storage. Uh, and then we've got our, usually we do a U-line ice maker. He wanted a wine cabinet here. So we've got some really nice wine storage. Of course, we've got our overhead uh, rod locker storage here, which is pretty standard on these 43s. We've got our entertainment center here with our flat panel television, our ship's panel, and then a whole bunch of storage below. Come on out and we'll, uh, we'll show you guys the cockpit and the fly bridge. All right, so we're out here in the cockpit. Of course, we've got our day head. And again, this has a separate shower, hot, cold shower inside. Uh, we did a little trash can here, which is nice. So when you're done drinking your beer or your soda, you got a place to throw your can. Um, our teak aisle cabinets out here. Nice Plano box storage for all your fishing tackle. Another hot, cold shower. So if you go swimming, you got a place on the swim step to rinse off. Our big bait tanks, and again, this is, can either be used as a single tank or you've got a divider to make it two separate tanks if you want. Really deep, nice big fish, uh, fish bait tanks. Uh, and here we've got our fish boxes. Um, another teak aisle here, and this is a little bit different, so you can put your fillet knife, your pliers, 
and, uh, and store some fishing line. Uh, and then we've got our staircase up to the flybridge, which is uh, a really nice transition from the cockpit upstairs. Come on up, I'll show you what it's all about. All right, so up here in the flybridge, pretty standard flybridge with the exception uh, that we cut down the helm on the starboard side. So it's just kind of a flat helm area. We can put cup holders there. Um, you can put a little storage box if you wanted, but it just makes the flybridge feel a little bit more open, which is nice. And again, this, this is a, like a brand new boat. Plastic still in the cushions. The enclosure looks like it's brand new. Uh, it's got nice Garmin electronics, the uh, 8600 series, and it's got the joystick. Uh, the ProPilot Glendenning system, so if you want to drive with the joystick, it incorporates the bow thruster, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, just, I mean, every part of this boat feels brand new. So uh, if you're looking for a new boat, uh, this one is a, a, an incredible opportunity, A, because it's in an LLC, which has some, uh, some big, big advantages. And um, if you were to build this boat again today, it would be, you know, at least a couple hundred thousand dollars more. Uh, and this boat is, uh, certainly feels like new, so really, really cool opportunity for somebody. All right, uh, one other thing I wanted to point out about this boat is it's got fiberglass cockpit decks. So if the teak decks are a little more maintenance than you want to have to deal with, this is all fiberglass decks. So, you know, no, no maintenance issues, last forever. Really easy to take care of. And I'll, uh, I'll open up the engine hatches here. So we've got our QSB 550 Cummins. It even comes with this nice screwdriver that somebody left on top of the engine. Uh, phenomenal engines. This is, uh, this is a standard power for our 43s, uh, our late model 43s. Um, if my camera person can come over here, we've got a water maker, um, a blue water water maker installed here. That's about, uh, I think, an 800 gallon per day unit. Uh, really nice to have. And uh, we've got our Cummins Onan generator in a sound shield. And uh, if my camera lady can hand me the camera real quick, I'll just show you guys the bilge real quick. Uh, you've got an oil change system there, which is nice and just immaculate. This is, uh, again, basically like buying a new boat just for less money and you have the advantage of the LLC and you get to have it now. So anyway, really cool opportunity on this one. If you want to take a look at this uh, anytime, we'd love to show it to you.